ตอนนี้นะคะพิมอยู่ที่โรงแรม Oracle Residence ค่ะใช่วันนี้เนี่ยอยู่กับแบรนด์นี้นะคะคือ Cover FX นะคะหลายท่านอาจจะยังไม่รู้จักนะคะแต่แบรนด์นี้เนี่ยเป็นแบรนด์ที่เขาทำเบสแมคอัพที่ได้รางวัลมากมายมหาศาลในปีที่แล้วนะคะในวันนี้เนี่ยคุณดีเรกนะคะวินมาจากโตรอนโตนะคะประเทศแคนาดานะคะเพื่อที่จะอธิบายให้ฟังเกี่ยวกับโปรดักต์นะคะแล้วก็ตอนนี้เนี่ยก่อนที่จะเริ่มงานเนี่ยเขาจะทำ Color Matching ให้ด้วยนะคะว่าสีไหนเนี่ยที่จะเป็นสีที่พอดีเป๊ะกับผิวพิมพ์นะคะ This is G20 G20 Yep Which is a light golden has a golden undertone very light completely disappears into your neck And if you want it, if your skin gets a little darker in the summer, you could go to G30. So I'll show you what G30 looks like. It's going to be a little dark right now, but if you want it, so this is G30. It's going to look a little darker. So this color here, this is G20 right here. This is yeah. If you, I'll show it right there. G. G30 is right here. G30, yes. And this is G20. So G20 is kind of melt into my skin. It's the best color exact, for you. Exact, exact yeah. skin with my. Yeah. This color But if you want it, if you get darker in the sun, you could go to G30. G30. So sometimes people have a summer color and a winter color, and so you can do that. When you go from one color to the next color, a cover effect, it's three percent darker. Three percent darker. Yes. So it's exact. You don't so have it's to very guess. exact each color. So there's no gaps between one shade and the next. Mm -hmm. A lot of brands have a missing, a shade. You know where there's a yeah, missing color. Yeah, I understand. Color. Yeah. There's none of that at Cover Effects. It's very scientifically calibrated. And what about the color tone? Because some some color is yellow base and yes. some color is pink base. Right. So the G is golden, oh, which G is, is what you are. Oh, so it's uh, more yellow. Yes. So you are more yellow. I'm more pink. Yes. So I'm wearing P40. So it's P. P is for pink. P. G, G is golden. golden. And in between is N for neutral. Neutral. So people who not. Really yellow, not really pink. So you neutral. go for the end. Yeah, uh -huh. and if you want it, sometimes people want to be a little bit more pink. You, if say you want it to be more pink, you could go to a neutral. Uh, so instead of G twenty, you go to N twenty. It's the same lightness or darkness, but it has more pink in it. So it give you a little bit of that rosy glow if that's what you like. Oh, it's very okay. cool. Yeah. So it's very. It's easy. Versatile. You can choose what yeah. you like. Yeah, absolutely, hundred percent, and. When you know your shade in one formula, it's the same color across all of our, our textures. Right. Yeah. So your G20 in our pressed mineral foundation, in our total cover cream, in our natural finish, which is our liquid, and in custom cover drops. Wow, that's fantastic. It's really cool. Wow, thank you yeah. so much. My pleasure. <laughs> bye, everybody. Bye bye. Thank you. 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 ว่ามีทั้งตัวที่เป็นคลิกสติกนะคะซึ่งเก๋มากๆคือเป็นแท่งแบบนี้แต่คุณสามารถจะเลือกใส่2สิ่งเข้าไปได้นะคะแล้วก็มีตัวเดี๋ยวนะที่เป็นตัวเดี๋ยวนะรองพื้นนะคะก็คือ Custom Cover Drop นะคะที่ให้คุณเห็นเมื่อสักครู่นี้นะคะตรงนี้คือเป็นสีเบอร์ G20 แล้วก็ G30 นะคะก็คือจะมีตัวนี้ที่แบบว่าหูได้รางวัลเยอะมากมากมากมากมากมานะคะใครที่แบบติดตามวงการเครื่องสำอางโดยเฉพาะยิ่งต่างประเทศนะคะแล้วก็จะมีตัว Custom Infusion Drop ตรงนี้นะคะซึ่งเป็นเบสนะคะสำหรับเวลาที่คุณจะใช้เจ้าตัว Custom Cover Drop ตรงนี้นะคะเพราะว่าตัวนี้ด้วยตัวเขาเองเนี่ยคือเป็นพิกเมนต์ล้วนๆเลยนะคะเวลาที่คุณใช้เนี่ยคุณจะผสมเขากับตัวที่เป็นออยแบบนี้นะคะบิวตี้ออยหรือว่าจะเป็นเบสหรือว่าจะเป็นมอยส์เจอร์ไรเซอร์นะคะเพื่อให้ได้เท็กเจอร์ที่ต่างๆกันไปนะคะก็คือคุณสามารถจะผสมไปได้เรื่อยๆเลยนะคะแล้วก็จะมีตัวที่เป็น perfect pencil นะคะนี้น่าจะออกแนวคล้ายๆแบบตัวที่แบบเป็นคอนซีลเลอร์อะไรแบบนี้นะคะแล้วก็จะมีแป้งนะคะก็คือเรียกว่ามีหลายไอเทมมากทีเดียวนะคะสามารถที่จะแล้วก็วันนี้ต้องมาดูกันนะคะเพราะพิมเองก็ยังไม่ค่อยเชี่ยวกับแบรนด์นี้เหมือนกันไทยค่อนข้างใหม่เช่นกันทีนี้เมื่อสักครู่นี้นะคะจากการทําเทสสีให้เห็นเนี่ยก็จะเห็นได้ว่าของพิมเนี่ยเป็นผิวที่เข้ากันกับเบอร์ G 2 0นะคะทีนี้ใช่คุณดูว่า G 2 0กับ G 3 0เนี่ยมันต่างกันแค่ไหนนะคะเดี๋ยวพิมจะเปิดให้คุณดูนี่นะคะอันนี้จะเป็นเบอร์ G 2 0ซึ่งเป็นสีที่พอดีแป้กับผิวพิมพ์นะคะส่วนอันนี้นะคะเป็นเบอร์ G 3 0นะคะก็คือเรียกว่าต่างกันนิดนึงอย่างที่เมื่อกี้คุณดีเล็กบอกก็คือว่ามันจะ
เอ่อสเปคของสีของเขาเนี่ยแต่ละ10เนี่ยก็คือเบอร์10 20 30เนี่ยแต่ละ10เนี่ยมันจะเพิ่มพิกเมนทีละ 3% นะคะเพราะฉะนั้นเนี่ยคือของเขาเนี่ยเป็นวิทยาศาสตร์มากจะไม่มีการแบบสีสกิปหรือกระโดดนะคะทำให้เราสามารถจะหาสีที่แมชกันพอดีเป๊ะกับผิวเราได้แล้วถ้าเกิดสมมติว่าคุณแบบอยู่ระหว่างอย่างอุตส่าห์จะอยู่ระหว่าง20กับ30อีกคุณก็สามารถจะซื้อ2อันแล้วคุณก็ใช้นะคะแบบว่าผสมกันได้นะคะคือเป็นแบรนด์ที่คุณสามารถเอาทุกอย่างมาผสมกันได้เลยนะคะทำให้ได้สีที่แบบว่าตรงเป๊ะกับผิวคุณแล้วก็นอกเหนือจากตัวที่เป็นพวกเอ่อคัพสเตอร์คัพเวอร์ดรอปเนี่ยค่ะเขายังมีตัวที่เป็นแบบเขาเรียกอะไรเป็นตัวที่แบบเป็นสีคล้ายๆกับให้ให้ความเป็นเขาเรียกอะไรนะทำให้ผิวดูฉ่ำโกลนะคะแล้วก็อีกแบบหนึ่งจะเป็นรุ่นที่ทําให้ผิวเนี่ยดูเป็นเขาเรียกเหมือนกับคนที่ไปตากแดดมานะคะเป็นออกแนวเหมือนกับทําให้ผิวดูบมแดดมากยิ่งขึ้นนะคะก็เดี๋ยวรอติดตามดูแล้วกันค่ะว่าคุณดิเล็กจะอธิบายอย่างไรยังไงบ้างบวกกับเขาทงจะมีเดโมเทรชันนะคะนี่คือพิมพ์มานั่งหน้าสุดเลยเพื่อเดี๋ยวจะได้ทําไลฟ์ให้คุณดูกันนะคะจะได้เห็นว่ามีอะไรยังไงบ้างนะคะสําหรับผลิตภัณฑ์ของ Cover FX เนี่ยก็คือจะมีวางขายนะคะใน Sephora นะคะพิมพ์เข้าใจว่าน่าจะน่าจะมาแล้วนะหรือถ้ายังไม่มาอย่างไรยังไงเดี๋ยวพิมพ์อัปเดตให้คุณทราบอีกครั้งหนึ่งนะคะวันนี้นี่คือแบบแต่งหน้าวันน้อยมากเผื่อว่ามีการลองคือสำอางนะคะแล้วก็เดี๋ยววันนี้เนี่ยจะไปหลายงานทีเดียวทั้งวันนี้เดี๋ยวมาเข้า FX ก่อนนะคะจากนั้นก็จะไปทาร์ตนะคะไม่แน่ใจว่าสัมทาร์ตนี้จะสามารถมีจังหวะที่จะสามารถทำไลฟ์ได้ไหมนะคะเพราะว่าเข้าใจว่าวันนี้เขาจะมีแบบคนที่แบบเป็นรีเจนอลหรืออะไรอย่างเงี้ยค่ะมาหรือว่าโปรโมทไม่แน่ใจนะคะมาด้วยนะคะวันนี้ก็จะได้ไปดูกันนะคะประพิตภัณฑ์ใหม่ๆแล้วก็ในช่วงตอนเย็นนะคะช่วง5้าโมงนะคะพิมจะมีไปงานของ p e r s i a n r e a d นะคะซึ่งเป็นผลิตภัณฑ์เกี่ยวกับเส้นผมนะคะทั้งหมดนี้ล้วนแล้วเป็นแบรนด์ที่มีขายใน Sephora นั้นเลยนะคะเพราะนั้นท่านไหนที่สะดวกว่างนะคะก็สามารถที่จะติดตามไลฟ์ของพิมได้นะคะแต่ยังไงเดี๋ยวตอนนี้นะคะพิมให้คุณดูนิดนึงนะคะว่าผลิตภัณฑ์ทั้งหมดที่เขามีตรงนี้เนี่ยมีอะไรบ้างนะคะแล้วเดี๋ยวก็ค่อยมาเจอกันอีกช่วงที่เขาดีบอลแล้วกันนะคะโซ่ this one is sun kiss and then sunset is darker and it's matte so you can see how yeah and yeah like you said it's more yeah so if I show you I put them here so these two are matte custom and pencil drop นะคะเดี๋ยวพี่จะเปิดให้คุณดูเนี่ยค่ะสีเป็นแบบนี้มันวาวมากมากค่ะมันวาวมากมากสวัสดีค่ะน้องมวยสุดสุดกำลังเล่นให้ดูกันเป็นน้ำจิ้มเท่านี้ก่อนนะคะแล้วเดี๋ยวหลังจากนี้เนี่ยค่อยมาดูว่าคุณดีเล็กเขาจะนำเสนออะไรให้เราฟังกันบ้างค่ะบ๊ายบายไปก่อนนะ We became a retail brand organically, and here we are today. You know, in sold in Canada, the U.S., uh, the U.K., Australia, and now we're launching in the Asian market. So we're very, very excited about that. The thing that's unique about this is that we matched our colors to the patients that came into the hospital, and organically we created our global shade palette simply because of the diversity of people that live in Toronto. So it was never kind of meant to happen, <laughs> and, it, and it just did. So if you look at our brand today, we have three very distinctive pillars of the brand that makes us unique. Number one, we're known for being healthy. Every single product in the brand is what we call free of the inflammatory five. What that is, every single product is free of mineral oil, fragrance, parabens, gluten, and talc. So we're developed for the most sensitive skin. That's number one. Number two, we're known for coverage because we came from a place to cover different skin imperfections. We're known for having products that have a high pigment load that can cover pretty much anything from hyperpigmentation to even a tattoo if you wanted to. If your product has high pigment, s you can shear it out and make it very translucent and natural. If your product has very little pigment, you can't build it up. It doesn't work the other way. So the fact that we have high pigment in our product allows us to have the most versatile and flexible coverage available out there. Okay, and that has to do with technique and how you use the product. And then the third is our global shade palette. So internationally, we have 40 shades within the brand. 
in Asia, we're launching, in Thailand specifically, we're launching 24 of the 40 shades. So we worked very closely with Sephora in this market on what shades made sense here. So we're launching 24 shades of the 40, but the, what's unique about the products is we offer them in a pink, a neutral, and a golden undertone. So that you have a choice in terms of your undertone. The majority of our clients here are going to be a gold undertone by nature of the Thai people naturally have a gold undertone. And there's probably about four shades that is very obvious will be our top selling shades here. But with diversity of clientele here, and if people want to have a slightly different undertone, you can do that within the brand. The other thing that is important with the shades is that they are scientifically calibrated when you go from one shade to the next. So typically when you look at foundation in store, you'll see a color, and then there's a gap and another color. And a lot of times where we think, we as a beauty group go, they need a color here, yeah. right? All the time. You will not experience that in cover effects because they are scientifically calibrated to go from one shade to the next to be 3% darker. Now, the person that did that is a very special person in our industry. Our chief innovation officer is Vic Caselli. Vic is the original chemist behind MAC Cosmetics. So MAC, I don't know if you know this, is originally from Toronto. So before Estee Lauder bought MAC, it was a Toronto-based cosmetic company. And Vic created MAC with his brother-in-law and his brother-in-law's business partner. So Vic's brother-in-law, Frank Toskin, um, his sister was Vic's girlfriend. So Vic wanted to impress his girlfriend and create a lipstick for her. And he didn't know how to do that, but he figured it out. And it sort of organically became what you know, you know as Mac. So Mac, of course, is a worldwide sensation. Um, and Vic is the original guy behind that. He is our chief innovation officer. So he's the guy who creates all of our products. And he has an incredible approach to beauty and to innovation. Um, so I get to work with Vic on creating color um, in terms of you know shades or performance or whatever. Um, but, but it's kind of interesting that scientific mind that he has is what allowed him to really scientifically calibrate the shades. Each shade has a letter and a number. The letter is the undertone. So you'll see, for example, the box here, P20, P is for pink. So you'll have either P, N for neutral, G for golden. Neutral is a balance of pink and gold, okay? The number is how light or dark the color is. The lower the number, the lighter the color. If you have P20, G20, and N20, they all are the same lightness or darkness, it's just that the undertone is different, okay? So it is very systematic how the um, shade system works, okay? So that's kind of who we are and how, um, you know, the shade system is, uh, has been developed. Vic is responsible, I don't know if you know this, but it's kind of interesting. So Vic created Studio Fix, and Studio Fix is Max powder foundation. It's the best-selling foundation in the world. So our mad scientist <laughs> created that product. He also created um, Russian red lipstick, which famously Madonna wore in the Blonde Ambition tour. And he would ship, um, I think it was like 48 lipsticks at a time to her makeup artist for you know, the world tour for um, Blonde Ambition tour. He created face and body makeup, which originally, I don't know if you know the television show Baywatch. So, there was a makeup artist in Los Angeles working on a new TV show pilot and there was a lot of water scenes and so he sent the makeup artist this new formula he was working on for face and body and was waterproof thus MAC face and body he also created lip gloss which is one of their best-selling lip glosses as well so his heritage is is world-class when you look at um, cover effects and how it translates we've stayed very focused on complexion. So as you said, we're, we're known as a foundation brand and products that reinforce you know, complexion. 
we're not trying to be everything to everybody. A lot of brands are. You know, they're the expert in sun care and fragrance and mascara and this, you know who they are. Um, we're not trying to be that. We're trying to be the best that we can be in complexion and really specialize in, in our category. What that allows us to do is be very innovative. It allows us to have the great shade range and, and performance of, of the products. So I'll jump in. Do you have any questions so far? I just want to make sure you're understanding what I'm saying so far. You okay? You all right? Okay. Um, I'm going to sort of jump into the first product that, that we really feel will be a hero product in your market. And it, it's definitely a hero product globally. It's huge in North America. And it's our pressed mineral foundation. So pressed mineral foundation is a powder foundation. If you think about this gentleman who created an iconic best-selling foundation across the world, he had the opportunity to really improve his own you know, best-selling product. So with Studio Fix, it is based, it was developed in the late um, 1980s. And at the time, the look was very matte, it was very powdery, and it was very flat, to be honest with you. And at the time, with technology and the ingredients that were available, he used talc as the base of that product. And that's still the base of Studio Fix today. With Press Mineral Foundation, like all of the products in Cover Effects, it's talc free. The reason it's talc free is it's what? Non it's non comedogenic, but the reason that we've, all of our products are non comedogenic, but I'm going to visually show you why we're not using talc, okay? Because when you see it, it really makes it obvious, okay? So I, a lot of times, people like yourselves would love to come into our lab. Right? So instead, I brought the lab to you. So I made it through customs with these little jars of white powder. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm traveling, they're like, what's in the jar? <laughs> so what I'm going to show you, I have talc here, but I also have mica. Are you familiar with mica? Do you know what mica is? Do you know where it comes from? It's like, yeah, it's actually a mineral. It's a mineral, so it comes from the earth. So does talc, actually. Um, where do you typically see mica? What kind of products do you usually see mica? Yeah, eyeshadow. Yep, or maybe blush. Sometimes bronzers. Definitely illuminators are usually mica, okay? So where we usually see mica or no mica, this is what's so good about my job. Look at this. I get to... I get to travel around with fairy dust. So, this is typically how we see mica. Okay, so it's known as glitter, right? And you can see the size of, I don't know if you can see there, okay? You can see the size of the particle is quite large and it is very obviously shiny, okay? So I'll let you if you want. What's kind of fun to do with what I'm gonna show you is actually if you wanna strike them, you'll see the difference, okay? So large mica, this gives you that effect of glitter of shine. This is in like the natural form, right? Yeah. It's this color, sparkles. So it, it comes in different colors. All right. Yeah, so when you see the different um, glitters, they come in different colors. So you'll get all different kinds of colors of minerals, okay? So it's actually like very dusty. Yeah. yeah, like it's, now, that particle size is very large and you can see it with your eye as glitter, okay? So what happened is some manufacturers started to think, if, what if we took this and processed it so it's even finer? So you basically grind it up so that it's micronized to be a smaller size. You end up with fine mica. So this is not as shiny, so this is fine mica. It's still radiant, but it doesn't look as glittery. Okay, so I'll let you see that. But what Vic did is he took this a step further and we created ultra fine mica. This no longer looks shiny or glittery. And you'll see it here. When I put it here, it's much more translucent. So you see how this is the exact same ingredient. Large mica, Fine mica, 
and ultrafine mica is the most translucent, so you see through it. But what's also very interesting is it's matte. So it's matte, but not flat, okay? And then there's talc. So traditionally what's been used is talc. And if th this is what we're using. We're using the ultrafine mica in our pressed mineral. So it's translucent and it's matte, but a natural matte. Talc is more of an opaque matte. And so it not just absorbs oil, but it absorbs light. So if you look at this, it's very flat. Whereas this, it's, it's translucent, okay? So I'll pass, this is the ultrafine, and this is the talc. So the base of our pressed mineral is ultrafine mica. So the product is matte, but not flat. It looks like, it's a powder form, but it looks more like a liquid makeup. And the thing that I love about this product is it features kaolin clay to absorb excess oil and shine, but it also features green tea as an antioxidant as well, okay? It does come with a sponge if you prefer to apply with a sponge. I prefer this product with our powder brush. It's my favorite way to apply this. And what I usually suggest is use the tips of the bristles, a light application, just lightly all over, and then go back with this side and press in more of a firm motion. And I'm picking up more product. And then I use a press and roll technique, and that will build coverage in the areas where you want it. So most people need more coverage kind of here, more through this area. So you can have a very natural look by doing a light application all over, and then more coverage through you know, the, the cheeks and the middle of the skin where you need it. The other thing that's cool with this is, you can use it as concealer. So if the client, if the person doesn't have dryness under the eyes, if it's a younger consumer, I will take the concealer brush and use the powder and just use it as concealer. It's my favorite product to use for people that have breakout blemishes or acne. Most people would go to our cream because it actually has more coverage. This will cover a full face of acne, okay? Fantastic for photography, amazing in photo shoots for touching up, and it's the easiest product to apply. So if I have someone who's a beginner, not very experienced, or maybe a male consumer, great product for it, okay? So I'll let you have a feel of that. Now you're all gonna be covered in glitter, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have questions on that, on the press mineral? What was interesting was when we were um, working on this, we worked very closely with Sephora in the US, and they actually shared with us that the number one um, product that was requested in the US that Sephora did not carry is Mac Studio Fix. So they were thrilled that we could develop, the guy who created Studio Fix could create a powder foundation for them, and it's been a huge, huge success for us. It's really, it does very, very well. Sephora, Thailand, you know, in like in basically all of Southeast Asia, um, you know, when we were working on launching the brand, said that they, this product probably will be one of our best sellers here because it's powder, it's oil absorbing, you know, it's matte but not flat. Okay? 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 The other thing I didn't mention with the shades, when you're your shades in, for example, Press Mineral, you're the same shade in custom cover drops, in our liquid foundation, in our cream foundation. So we match all of our colors back to our cream foundation. And it's important that the colors are matched when they're dried down on the skin. If you look at a cream in a compact, and then you look at a powder in a compact, the color looks different because the cream is wet and the powder is dry. So it, the color is not matched that way, it's matched on the skin applied, so it's the exact same color, okay? So this allows people to change formulas from one season to another, or, or day and night, weekend, whatever it is that they prefer, okay? All right, so, my favorite thing to talk about at Cover Effects. Okay, I have, Clearly I'm not 21. 
I have been in the business for 30 years, and last year was the most remarkable year for me, personally, um, and professionally in terms of getting to work with a product. I'm the person that got to present this to the beauty press, and they love it. I think they love it even more than I do. <laughs> and it's become a crazy international sensation. So, Custom Cover Drops is a pure pigment drop that will transform anything that is oil-based, water-based, or silicone-based into your foundation. So what the, if I translate that into plain old English, you can take your favorite moisturizer, primer, serum, beauty oil, and make foundation of it. It means that you can create foundation textures that don't exist in retail. For example, one of my favorite, do you have Biotherm here? Bi Biotherm? So one of my favorite products from, is from Biofilm. It's a moisturizer, Aquasource. Mm -hmm. So it's a cream gel, beautiful light texture moisturizer. I don't know of any foundations in that texture. I now can create a foundation in a cream gel. Or, a lot of people love beauty oils. But I say somebody wanted a total coverage oil foundation. I don't know of that. You now can create that. So what this has done is it's allowed the consumer to be the mad scientist, if you will, but in a very easy and controlled way. So there's a few little tips that we, we give to get the best results from this. Number one, we need to help you find your shade. You have to get your right color. So there's 24 shades in custom cover drops. You need your color that's gonna match your skin. The next thing, and you on your placemat, you'll see on the bottom left, is our little recipe that we recommend, which is one drop gives you sheer coverage, two drops medium coverage, three drops full coverage, and four drops total coverage. So what this means is, is you can have, from the same bottle, it might be sheer coverage for every day, but on Saturday night, you want full coverage, or, it might mean every day for work, you wear full coverage, and on the weekend, you just want a little bit. You can change it up as you need to. My favorite thing about this is that it becomes foundation and concealer together in the exact same color, in the exact same finish. Now, the finish is determined by the base you put it into. So if you want to really, oh, and I'll demonstrate it here for you. So if you want a really radiant, Glow. This is our illuminating primer. Okay. So, if I take the, and I'll show you this. This is the illuminating primer. So it's a really natural, um, subtle light. It's not like custom enhancer drops. So it's just this very subtle, pretty kind of illumination. If I have a client that wants say regular coverage, medium coverage, I will take two drops. I'm going to do one, one, two. I did it quick. So the, there's a technology in this product called flash fusion technology. The solution, the liquid, flashes off when I'm mixing it and leaves just the pure pigment behind with the base of the product. So our sort of steps are you drop. I'll do it this way so you guys can see. Is it okay? So you, do you want me to... Do you want me to fake it? <laughs> I've done this before. Okay, ready? We'll pretend like we're doing it all at once. So you draw more. So what we've done now is I've added the pure pigment from custom cover drops to our illuminating primer base, and I now have a medium coverage illuminating foundation. Okay? What I usually recommend is you do a light application all over, now look in the mirror, where do you need more coverage? And usually, it's underneath the eyes, redness around the nose, maybe some redness through here, that one little pimple, and maybe some hyperpigmentation. So what I do is I go back and I add a couple more drops. And what I'm doing is I'm making concealer in the exact same color with the same finish. So in those areas where I need more coverage, I can build in those areas and you end up with a seamless result, controlled as you need to, how you want to, okay? Uh, if, depending on what you use, base will depend on the result that you get. If you use, for example, 
um, say a beauty oil, you'll get that very dewy, wet kind of result. For people with oily skin, if they use a very matte, oil-free, oil-absorbing, mattifying moisturizer, you'll get a matte finish to it. So you, you control the finish, you control the coverage. We've used the hashtag, as you see there on the placemat, droppertunity. So we're, we sort of challenge people, what's your droppertunity um, with custom cover drops? And what's happened with the product is over the, it's about a, just over a year ago that we introduced it, it's taken on a life of its own. <laughs> it, I sort of, when I first was able to present this, it was sort of like our little secret we were sharing with the world. It's not ours anymore. It's like, <laughs> The world owns this product now, so it's been um, very, very successful, been really fun. Uh, I will say to you, you have to make sure that you shake it, okay? And because it mixes with anything, a tip for you is, because this inevitably will happen. So if you, say you, I'm just gonna make this messy, okay? So say you spill it or drop it, because the Flash Fusion technology will mix with anything that's oil-based, water-based, or silicone-based, if I take a wipe to wipe it, it's going to mix with this and spread it out and make it worse. The best thing to do is take a tissue and just, which I don't have, is just wipe it with a dry tissue. And that will, is the easiest, best way to clean it. Okay, so that's just a good tip in case you drop it or make a mess of it. Okay, questions? I know you've seen it on the internet. It's everywhere. <laughs> Crazy. So it completely go with any, anything. So I have to tell you, when we were working on this, part of my role is to think about, okay, when we, when we create a product, the very first people that this was presented to was the beauty press. So I actually was in New York. So I presented it in New York, January, the first week of January, 2015. I spent the week in New York presenting it to the beauty press. And I have to think ahead, what are people going to ask? So I have to think of, the most savvy beauty person. I have to think of makeup artists like myself that are, what are they gonna ask? I also have to think of, don't record this, the dumbest person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have to think of like, what are dumb people gonna do with this, right? So once we, you know, we developed it and we knew it mixed with any regular beauty products, I then went on a mission to figure out what doesn't it mix with? And here we are a couple of years later, I haven't found anything. It mixes with baby oil. It mixes with your body lotion. It mixes with, do you have Elizabeth Arden here? Yes. Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. Uh, so you know that emollient, dewy, wet texture. It mixes with that. It mixes with Vaseline. Vaseline. I haven't found anything it doesn't mix with. And I'll show you. These are our custom infusion drops. So these are like a, um, there's four of them. And they feature an essential oil and a vitamin that work synergistically together for whatever results. So in this case, it's our vitamin F with neroli for hydration. The base of it is squalene. So these are very emollient. Okay, so I'll just show you here. Like this is a really emollient kind of texture. So you can think of this like a beauty oil, okay? Some people, if they wanted a beauty oil foundation, can do it and you'll see, let me get myself ready. Let me do this. I know I'm, I wanna make sure we get it right for the internet. <laughs> so here's custom infusion drops and custom cover drops. So what I've done now is I'm creating a total coverage oil. Yep. Is that crazy? Is that oil based? And you'll see that the texture is, or sorry, the finish. Where this is very good, I'll tell you who likes this, very dry skin. So, especially in North America, in Canada, and in the northern US, when it's very dry in the winter, this texture combination is fantastic for really, really dry skin. Yes. This is very, very long. So if, um, if it's mixed with everything, um, for, for someone who just don't want to mess around in the morning, yeah. can you pre-mix like the batch or something? Well, or I've, not I've kind of been known to do that. <laughs> uh -huh. Because I travel so much, yeah. and because 
I'm always experimenting, I end up taking little jars and I'll put, you name it, I tried it. So I will do that and I'll put whatever. And absolutely it does, like and it stays mixed. So you can do that. What I will say you wanna make sure that you're doing when you do that is that it's hygienic. Make sure that it's clean. And so the thing is, if I was to take a clean jar and drop hygienically custom cover drops and custom infusion drops, or you know, take my primer into a little jar, mix it with like a cotton swab, and so it's hygienic, it's fine. And it's actually a great way to use the product, especially for people who travel, because you then can create that. I will say this, that's interesting. This actually is travel friendly. It fits on within the size of traveling on a plane. So you can take this with your moisturizer or your sunscreen, whatever it is, and travel with it.